Nobody is keeping score. It's okay to slow down and it's okay to ask for help. Let's discuss these high pressures that we keep on ourselves. Hello Pearls and welcome back to my channel. I'm April, founder and creator of Lena's Pearls. Today I want to talk to you about the pressures of life and having these goals and these um, unrealistic expectations that we placed on ourselves and place all of this perfectionistic ideas, if that's even a word, on ourselves. And to just give you a little bit of relief and hopefully at the end of this video you'll understand that it's okay it's all right there is nothing wrong with admitting that you need some help and taking some of these pressures off of us one of the reasons that we absorb so much onto us you know between going back to school and having full-time careers on top of it and being single parents being co-parents um, there are just so many things in our lives and so many goals that we have that we're trying to achieve that we tend to get so overwhelmed and we're go, go, go all the time. And it ends up really burning us out. And I was having this conversation with one of my daughters because she was just running off her schedule. She was saying all of the things that she didn't do, what she needed to do, simple tasks, even like laundry and, you know, writing that paper or what have you. And I said to her, baby girl, no one's keeping score. No one is walking behind you with a clipboard saying, well, you didn't do. No one is doing that to you but yourself. And it's okay to slow down. And one of the reasons that we do take on so much and we do have these unrealistic expectations of ourselves is because we're afraid to ask for help. We're afraid to ask for help because we feel that, you know, everyone else has their own stuff going on. And for us to ask for help, it's, it'll just add more onto them and we don't want them to feel like we feel. So we're just, we're simply afraid to ask for help. We, some of us have trust issues. We trust number one, that it won't get done the way we need it to get done the way we would do it. We don't want to be vulnerable. We feel like, you know, um, putting ourselves out there. We'll just give someone ammunition. And because we have this life that we live where typically it's don't ask anybody for anything and, um, you know, I can't trust anybody but me. No one's going to do it better than me. No one's going to um, have my back better than I will and all of these things. And we're not forming great bonds and relationships because everybody is in this me first, me first, you know, me before you type of society. And that's why we have these these we refuse to ask for help or we refuse to admit that we need a little help or even admit that we can't do it all because we're, we don't want to be placed in a vulnerable position and we don't want to we don't have the trust in people not only to do it correctly but to keep our business to themselves and not go telling the world i helped so and so because she couldn't you know we just there's so many variations of the way the reasons why we do lack the trust and then also we have this unrealistic idea of perfection this 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 idea of the, and you'll hear me say it a lot on this channel, this normalcy. We just have this, this, this unrealistic idea of what is normal and we're always striving to be perfect. And then that in itself causes us all of this strife and stress because we're, we don't want anyone to see that we're, we're falling. We don't want anyone to, we don't want to feel like we're failing. We don't want anybody to see that we're failing or what we've considered to be failing because so-and-so is making it look so easy. And another reason is we just have these goals and we have these these lists, these mental checklists and sometimes written down for some of us of what we should be doing by such and such age and what we should have had by now and what should have been done by now. I should have been married by now. I should have had that degree by now. I should be working on my second degree by now. I should be finished my degree by now. I should be this far in this company by now. I should have had this many kids by now. I should be, it's just, we just have these, like these checklists that we're placing on ourselves. And it's, this is some of the overwhelming feelings and stress and strife that we're causing our own selves. So I want to now go into why it is so key that we stop doing this, that we just take the pressure off, unrelease that pressure knob, let it go, 
and stop having stop doing this to ourselves because at the end of the day like I said we're doing it to ourselves and I'm gonna repeat no one is walking behind you with a clipboard telling you what you didn't do with your life and I'm gonna tell you right now if you do have somebody in your life that's doing that to you you need to check them and like I've said before in my first video if you need to know the reasons why you need to stop letting people do things to you and you want to learn how to speak up for yourself and cancel some of these people in your life that are putting these burdens and these unrealistic pressures and and making you feel that you're less than adequate and that you're not living to a certain standard I will link that video down below <laughs> so number one like I said nobody's keeping score nobody's keeping score nobody but you is keeping score and because you have placed these burdens on yourself and because you have put these checklists on yourself you are in control of that checklist and you are in control of what you need to shift and change and pull around and you know move around this checklist so that you can pace yourself a little bit better so that you're not feeling so overwhelmed and just so many things all at once coming on to you number two help does not mean helplessness helpless and it doesn't necessarily mean helplessness when you ask someone for help it's almost a true testament to your resilience as a person to realize and take stock and say, I, I can't do it. I can't do it all. If you need someone to run an errand for you, if you need someone to, if you need a study partner, if you need someone to take on a shift, if you need to not take on someone else's shift, if you, there are so many people in our lives that we don't give credit. And there are those people in our lives that are just waiting. They're watching us and they're just waiting for us to ask for help. They're looking for the opportunity to jump in somewhere and help you out. Spouses too. There are many times I have to, I am, I have to learn and, and I have had to learn this and I still continue to learn this as well. I am a big control freak when it comes to my projects and my career and things that I'm doing and, and different avenues that I'm, um, taking on and 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 adapting and uh, adopting on and um I have had to learn to say to my husband can you I need your help can you do this with me or can you do this or can you make the phone call or can you write this down or I or simply to say I can't do it can you find a way because I and everyone who knows me personally knows that I'm juggling all kinds of things I mean I'm constantly on 10 and just to just ask for a moment of just quiet. My husband has even just had, he's just asking for that sometimes. I don't want to feel like I'm not the superwoman. And I put those things on to myself. So I have had to learn to ask for help or to admit I can't do it. And you just would be surprised how many people are like, wow, I was waiting for you to, because I saw you running, girl. I was waiting for you to ask. <laughs> you have to start asking for help. It does not mean that you're, you are this helpless creature that just is helpless and can't do for yourself. It, it does not mean that. And it doesn't mean forever. That's number three. It does not mean forever. Help does not mean forever. Sometimes we are better at certain things and other people have strengths in that area. And it's okay to collaborate and ask someone else to take you on, take on this thing that you both are involved in. It's okay to ask somebody to babysit the kids. It's okay to ask somebody to pick them up from daycare or run them somewhere or run them to that program or whatever the case is. It's okay. It's okay to ask for help in the areas that you know that are just pulling you just a little little bit for right now. And it doesn't mean forever. It could be a couple weeks. Let me get through these finals. Let me get through this thing. Let, just can you run a load of laundry? Can you go to the you know laundromat? Can you whatever it is? Sometimes you just need to be able to. You just have to trust to ask because it will allow you to breathe and you'll be able to check that off your list and you'll be able to concentrate on and prioritize your to-do list that much better. And listen, no, they may not do it better. At, at, they may not be better at it than you. They may not do it as great as you are. You will. And that's okay because they don't have to. Because no one is going to be you. You are you. You are this specific, unique individual that you are. And so that's okay. But you have to allow people to help you out. You have to ask for help. You have to 
take some of these pressures and burdens off of you and stop trying to be controlling in every little aspect of your life and take the help where it is capable, where it's, it's able to be given. Because you're going to crash and burn. And you know I'm a big advocate for taking stock and, and relaxing and it's okay to not this and it's okay to let go and it's okay to be selfish with your time and it's okay to do it because these are some of the key factors in what is causing so many of us to tap out and burn out and we're running around like crazy. And one of them is we do not want to, we, we, first of all, we don't want to admit that we can't do it all. We don't want to ask for help. <clears throat> it's okay. Number four, it's okay not to have it all figured out. Who does? This thing called life, we are all trying to figure it out. And I don't care how many books, YouTube videos, we are all trying to just figure it out. All of us, we're all trying to figure out the best way to juggle this and that. Everything that's dropped in our laps when we do have our little set schedules and set, this is what we're going to do and this is what we should be doing. It's okay not to have it figured out. It's okay that you're not, listen, people get married late in life all the time. What is it with this, this, this stigma of by a certain age, I, I'm supposed to be this far along. Who, who is putting that pressure on us, but ourselves? There is no rule book into by certain such age you need. There is no such there. No one has it all figured out and it's okay. You have to, this is the last point in this. Stop having or allowing society, social media, you hear me say it all the time, your friends, you know, your circle, your family, your mother, your father, stop basing your norm and where you should be in life and what should be going on in your life and what goals you should be having off of what other people are telling you because only you can decide what is best for your life at what point in time. Not everybody is meant to be a wife or a husband. Not everybody is meant to be a, a, a mother or father. Not everybody is meant to own a business. Not everybody is meant to have all of these degrees in education and, and accolades hanging up on their wall. Okay, you're you are here for a purpose. And I've said it in another video when I talked about insecurities. You are created on purpose. With a purpose, your purpose, not mine, not Tim, Tom, Jane, Elaine, whoever. It's not your path and your journey and your walk is for you and you alone. So you cannot base something that was given specifically on for, to you, given to you and gifted to you and planted in specifically you as a person, you cannot base that gift on what somebody else is doing with theirs. It was not meant for them. So take the pressure off of yourself. Nobody's keeping score. Allow yourself to shift. If you thought you were going to complete something by a certain time and you didn't, okay, sit down with your list, figure out what's causing you to, because this is all about goals because goals need to shift as well. You have your week goals, monthly goals, yearly goals, next five year goals, next 10 year goals. You have all of them and they're meant to just kind of keep you kind of keep you on track, but nothing is set in stone because you're the one that set them in the first place. So if something has shifted, and a crack in that foundation has caused this part of that situation to come down, then you need to sit still and go back over your checklist and you decide, OK, I can probably push this up here a little bit further or take this off and put this somewhere separate. I might not be able to take on this additional task. I might not be able to do that right now. And you need to just reassess and constantly Keep yourself present in your life of what's going on in your life, because the sad reality is we're so goal oriented and we're so dead on what we should be doing that we don't take time to enjoy the blessings and the paths and the achievements that we have already obtained. And then those blessings have to be maintained so that we add on more goals and more what we should be doing with this. And it's going to just overflow. OK, so take the pressure off yourself. Breathe. Breathe. No one is keeping score but you. And if you are in charge of the scoreboard and in charge of the checklist 
and in charge of the goals that you've set for your life and what you would like to have in your life and things you would like to achieve in your life, then you are also in control of shifting and moving things around so that they are something that you can handle and manage. Manageable. Should have just said manageable. Sorry. Sometimes I'm wordy. (laughs) Okay. So that is it for today. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Feel free to please just, you know, open up the conversation and and help and encourage and uplift each other because we are all struggling with this. Many of us, I still, there's things that when I turned 40, I thought I was supposed to be a certain thing by 40. My husband, we talked about it. He feels like there, listen, no one has it all figured out. No one does. So open up the comments. Feel free to share down below. Also, please, we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers or more. So please. Don't just look and like, subscribe, hit the like button and then subscribe, click that subscribe button. And then also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of every time I upload on the channel. Feel free to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. All of that information will be down below. If you have any additional content ideas or if you would like any advice or you just want to say hi, (laughs) feel free to email me at lenaspearls4 at gmail.com. I do respond to all emails and I do respond to all comments. Until next time, take care and be blessed.